all right here is another one and in this setup you are seeing on my screen is i'm going to show you the practical to demonstrate uh, to build a nucleus actually and with this you can use it to teach at least three topics in physics and in chemistry in physics or in chemistry you can use to teach nuclear physics or nuclear chemistry this same thing you can use it to teach um, alpha or beta or gamma decay that is nuclear decay and you can actually nuclear decay of particles and you can actually use it to teach um, isotopes now you keep your eye here where you have the symbol in this place and the learning goal will be to explain how the change in the number of neutrons or protons affect the atomic number of isoto species that is one of the learning goals you can achieve with this you can also use this to describe how different decays will change the nucleons in the nucleus and if that changes this and if that changes the symbol of atoms being shown because of course here the symbol of the atom will be shown here will that change it you're going to see and if it changes how will it affect the parameters like atomic numbers and the mass number of course you see them display here first of all i'll pick one down here you see the proton let me pick one proton by clicking this arrow here one of these arrow here and of course this space in the center is where we have the electron cloud i'm not going to tell you about defining each of these terms i'm using that is already done in the theoretical class this is like a practical class now so i'm not going to uh define each of these terms i'm using i assume that you already know them and you are coming to demonstrate to see the practical so i'll pick one proton you see before this you notice something here in the center and when I pick it, you also note that this proton is shielded with electron uh, cloud. And this is one proton. And the element is, uh, the atom is hydrogen with a mass and the atomic number. What is going to happen if I add one proton? If I add one proton to it, so I can have one proton and one neutron. Does it affect the mass or the atomic number seen here? Of course, it does. What happens if I add another proton? Does it affect the entire, does it change the entire atom? Of course, it does. It will no longer be the hydrogen atom. It becomes what? The helium atom with a mass and, of course, the atomic number also changing and the symbol also changing with this the learners can interact with they will see it they will do it themselves and like i said you also use it to describe how different decay will change the nucleons in the nucleus as these are different available decays from alpha beta gamma proton emission and neutron and if we keep on adding there's a proton and neutron. You see, proton emission will be given up. And you see the half-life of this particular atom, lithium atom. You see the half-life. If I add just one more neutron, you see the masses changes, the atomic numbers also changes. If I add a proton to it, we have the beta decay. And we have the half-life of this atom. It's no longer that which you know. It becomes a beryllium. The symbol, the atom changes, the mass changes, and of course the atomic number as well. This mass number also changes. So, learners can interact with by adding proton or adding neutrons and see the effect it has on the available decays and on the mass and on the atomic numbers as well they will interact with they will see it okay i hope this is something you can have in your school 
for practical. After the teacher explain it in the hall, if I with this, them interacting with it, learning will be easy. Thank you so much.